what's up flight simulators i'm here again with you with another quick video about microsoft flight simulator 2020 it doesn't matter if you are just a flight sim enthusiast or an airline pilot or a private pilot or pilot students or anything you definitely have heard about sky vector sky vector might not be as capable as for flight in real flight or navigraph in simulator but it's free it's uh, accessible from your browser anywhere so you can use it easily and uh, in this video i'm going to show you how you can get more out of sky vector and do some something like uh, navigraph does with you with the paid version here so stick around with this video before diving deeper i just want to show you some capabilities of sky vector here by the way if you are living in us or one flying us virtually or in real real life uh, you will get much more details and capabilities in US that is not accessible out of US. For example, let's have a quick route that I love here. For example, San Diego to LAX. And you can use the automatic route finder here. You can get the charts, PDFs, all available here. But remember, these are not the Jepson paid as you get in the Navigraph. You, you will get the just FAA versions here. Okay, this is the route I like from Oceanic and uh, Seal Beach, Victor 23. Just with a single click now, we have a route. Uh, you can also do the legal flight plan uh, from here. You can send a real flight plan and go in real flight, or you can use it in virtual uh, environment just like Batsy. Okay, what this system lack is just you have the route, but in the middle of way when you're cruising or you're when doing the approach, you don't have the current uh, location of your aircraft, you don't have the moving map. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can somehow fix this limitation and have the location of your aircraft on the map. By the way, don't make me wrong, it's, it is not a full alternate or full uh, replacement for Navigraph, it just does a, a simple moving map for you on your sky vector when you're flying. But uh, let me just uh, say you a brief history. When I started to teach my students, I for students, or just fly for fun in that sim for myself, since I couldn't uh, pay for Navigraph from where I live, I did a lot of research to find some alternate for Navigraph. I, I used Steam Toolkit Pro or some other plugins out there for free. All have some limitation and all have some pros and cons. So none of them is as good as uh, Navigraph. So don't make me wrong, Navigraph is the best. But if you don't want to pay or you can't pay, this is the way of uh, how you can get around with this limitation. And by the way, one uh, fun is that at first I tried, to, I tried to implement this plugin by myself. If you have watched my videos in this uh, channel, I have already discussed about the SIM Connect and this capability. I suddenly it came to my mind that oh, I can build a Chrome extension for that and connect uh, the, uh, the simulator to the Chrome and do the moving map over there. So I started doing that, but I suddenly found that uh, one other smart guy did this two years ago. So I did why I do this again. So let's uh, create a video and show how it's uh, how he did this years ago so thanks for what you did two years ago and just came to my mind today let's see how we can do it uh, just go ahead and search Microsoft Instrumental moving my sky vector on Google or anything related to that so you will find the flight team that to the home to lots of flight simulator plugins as you can see this is the page it's version 00.3 it's just a beta release i guess and it uh, and he didn't uh, continue to improve it it hasn't updated for two years but it does the job it's okay and we can use it and you can go and follow this user and or maybe subscribe to this project for the support after you did the project supports go ahead and download it for free you might need some registration for flight in that TO. I don't know, maybe you can download as guests as well. So wait for the download timer and it will be downloaded. After downloading, uh, you will find this folder. Let's open it. You will find some readme files here and you will basically find two folders. One of them is the flight simulator web service and another one is for sky vector moving map 
Chrome extension. So you need both of these. The main one, I think it is the web service. What web service does is exactly uh, what I uh, what I demonstrated for you in the last videos with using SimConnect. SimConnect basically sends the latitude, longitude, or maybe track and heading to the Chrome extension, as you can see here, using the network interface. So you need both these folders to run uh, Movie Mac on your Chrome. So uh, first, extract this folder on whatever, uh, whenever you like. For example, I extract it usually to my one of the partitions for me. That's specifically for my flight sim stuff for example here it's my partition h after you extracted it let's uh, let's extract it and here it is i just copy everything in this folder so i can keep track of it so go ahead and open the flight sim web service this is the file you should uh, open each time and just for simplicity copy that and you can create a shortcut from that on the desktop and you, you will be easier the other folder is sky vector moving map which is a chrome extension it's not officially available in your chrome uh, extension marketplace so you should add it but by yourself let's create a new chrome let's see if it works with guest no it's not the guest user cannot add extensions i think yes so uh, we, uh, we can create a new Chrome user if you haven't already installed. I just want to show you how it will look for installation since I have already installed it on my account. Okay, this is a fresh user in Chrome. Let's put it a name test. Okay. This is a new Chrome user. You go to the settings. and go to the extensions since it's not the official extension for micro, uh, for the chrome marketplace you need to add it manually if you don't see the install uh, option here uh, you should enable the developer mode in the top right corner of the page you simply click on load unpacked version because we have an unpacked version here now you need to navigate to the folder you have extracted. I will go to the folder I've extracted and the Sky Vector Moving Map. Open this folder and make sure you are inside this folder, inside Sky Vector Moving Map, and select the folder. If you have selected the folder correctly, you will find the Flight Simulator 2020 Sky Vector Moving Map option available. And as you can see, it's installed and it's allowed to access these three URLs: the local host and the Sky Vector. It means you are good to go. You might uh, prompt with some uh, permissions to access the network interface or anything like that. Just go ahead and accept that. So these two applications could talk to each other. Um, by, then, by now you are okay. Let's fire up our simulator somewhere around Marabad Airport. Let's fly. And let's, uh, during loading this thing, let's go ahead and uh open a sky vector in tab here this is a sky vector for the first time inside the new chrome user let's go to ask our india 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 and remember before that go ahead and install uh, open the fs web service this is the very important stuff so go ahead and right click on it and open it as administrator if you don't open it as administrator it won't work you should see the sim running stuff here if you do a sim running you see the sim running and then it disappears and just says starting web service on port 8001 it means it hasn't installed correctly or you haven't opened it with uh, administrator privileges so you should see the sim running message Okay, we are okay. Uh, the simulator is loaded. We are in Microsoft Flight Simulator in Mehrabad Airport. Let's see if it works. Let's go to Askar India, India, India. And boom, it works. Mehrabad Tower, Cessna, As you can see, the, uh, this pink pointer is showing our right. location inside the Sky Vector. This is the sectional or VFR map. And you should see the icon for the extension on the top right uh, corner of the page if you have installed code. Cleared for takeoff runway to Niner right Cessna 324. 
Okay, let's just quickly see if it works or not. It seems it's just tracking the heading. Uh, it seems it's tracking the tr uh, the track, not the heading. And that's correct. We need the track, latitude, longitude, and the track. Let's quickly create a flight plan here from Oscar in India, India to Payam Airport, Oscar in India, Papa. Uh, no routes here, as you can see. Outside of US, sky vector is very limited. It's a very short 25 nautical mile journey you can use if you use the seed you can use the parrot or maybe just use of a sierra alpha victor is a better option since the end of this sour seed starts at the star or arrival of the oscar india papa that's it uh, just for the fun let's do the takeoff and see if the moving map works I'm gonna show you the sky vector here and remember the pointer just lags a little sometimes it's just do it I think one cycle per second I think it updates once per second and uh, make sure if you have uh, if you have some problems here maybe you have some firewall problem this uh, extension use the port 8001 on your local uh, network so if another software is using the port 8001 or you have blocked this port on your firewall so go ahead and unblock this port there are lots of youtube tutorials so you can search for example how to block a port or open a port on your firewall so it's use 8001 you can definitely change that port via the extension settings in chrome and the config file from the web service but you don't need to change it yeah, I don't think anyone needs to change that port 8001 is not used by any specific application that I know okay as you can see we are flying and the track is updated on 285 let's tune the VOR and let's intercept the radial 224 from Tango Romo November and the track is rotating it gives a very good situation awareness to you when you're doing some airport flights especially if you're flying anywhere in virtual environment and you're flying IFR and you need to know where exactly you are especially if you new to the environment so this is a very sh uh, limited uh, alternate to Navigraph if you just want to move it map uh, I hope uh, they will upgrade this and add some new features. I don't think they will be able to add the approach overlay on the approach because the FAA approach charts are not scaled, I think. But that's enough for me. I can do a lot with this teaching my students or teaching uh, or uh, just doing some experience and exercise on IFR training. That's it. I, I hope you have enjoyed this and uh, you use it when you're flying IFR or even VFR. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to this content if you like. Uh, let me know in the comment section uh, if you like this kind of videos or not. Thanks and until the next video, have a nice day and happy flying IFR or VFR.